So typically, you're scrolling Twitter, it's a Wednesday night, and you see this really cool data analysis thread on some new Web3 protocol. And you think to yourself, I want to be able to do that analysis. So you click on the dashboard link, and you click into a query, and then boom, 400 lines of SQL nonsense. You have no idea what any of the tables mean, you don't know what the functions mean, and you just decide to give up right then and there on your dreams of becoming a Web3 data wizard where you're in Web2, doing some sort of data, where analytics work, and you found out about crypto and uh, Web3, and you think to yourself, wow, this is really cool. I really want to get into it. And then you start Googling, and then you realize you're overwhelmed by the amount of Google resource out there, and you don't even know where to start. So we're here to help you. We're two wizards currently at Dune, and we're going to teach you through 12 days of Dune. We're going to run through a query a day for two weeks straight, and really try to take you to the next level so that you understand how to analyze a protocol holistically and leverage all of the data tables that we have on Dune. Yeah, so starting on December 12th, we're going to do the 12 days of Dune. So we'll release one video a day for 12 days at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and there will be office hour coupled with each of the video starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time each day. So details are in the Notion doc in the description below. We're going to be covering one of the most popular EVM protocols, Uniswap version 2, which I'm going to explain later on in this video. And then we're going to reveal the magic and build up our analysis step by step in two different sections. So each section will start from the beginner level to the advanced level. So if you miss a section and you're busy, don't worry. You can always jump in again in the start of our next section. And once you're done, you should be able to start tackling bounties. And we'll have one directly following the program that will be open for submission until January 8th of 2023. And the key question we're going to ask is, what percent of Uniswap V2 pairs created over time are high quality pairs? And you'll be able to use all of the queries that we go over in these 12 days to support that question. So you're not starting from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive into the protocol. All right, so hopefully you're excited to start diving into the Uniswap protocol data. You really only have to know three contracts for Uniswap. There's a factory, and then there's a pair, and there's a router. And wallets will use the factory to create a new pair, which is just saying, hey, I want to be able to trade token A for token B or token B for token C. And routers are smart swap mechanic on top of pairs and says, all right, if you want to swap from token A to token C, you have to first swap token A to B, and then you can swap token B to C. And the router handles that for you. And sometimes people will call the router directly. Other times people will use other protocols on top of it. And we're going to go through all that. So if none of that made sense, don't worry about it. This is just to help you understand overall what the architecture is like. So over the two weeks, we have two core themes. There's protocol usage and protocol stability. I've covered some of the core concepts here in terms of blockchain concepts we're going to teach you. You can read through this yourself, see what's interesting to you. This is a high level question for the week. Same thing on the stability side. There's some core concepts we're gonna cover and all of those are gonna come together into this overarching question. And once we're done with the course, you'll have everything you need to try and answer this question. And again, we're gonna give you until January 8th to submit some sort of analysis or response or thought process that answers this question. There's also some SQL concepts here. I'm not going to go into detail, but you can check this out. It's all in the notion. If you want to start analyzing things earlier, you can go to this quick start dashboard and put in either the pair address or the factory address or the router address and get a high level view of what are the functions and the input outputs and what are the events and their outputs, and these are the tables you can call. So you can just take the swap function here and you query this and just start playing around with the data however you want. Keep looking through the dashboard if you want to understand like how often things have been called, what functions talk to what events, what is the usage of a contract over time, what other contracts are built on top of this. This is more high level data that's something for you to look through, but if you don't understand it, don't worry too much about it. And now Jackie will talk to you about how to get started and how to get ready for the course. All right. So now that Andrew has walked you through exactly what's to expect for 12 Days of Dune, 
Are you excited to join us for 12 Days of Doom on Becoming a Wizard? Yes, yes, and yes. Awesome to hear. Okay, cool. So before you join us on this journey, there's a few steps that we recommend you take so you can get the most out from this program. So number one, you should have already made a trade on Uniswap. So you can go to app.uniswap.org and pick any pair you would like to swap. The end goal of this should be that this swap transaction should show up on Etherscan. So this is a uh, blockchain explorer for Ethereum chain. And then see this person here swapped C for some wrapped ETH. And then your goal should be having your transaction show up on Etherscan like this. And the reason we ask you to do this is so that you experience what a swap is, what a transaction is like before you like, dive into analyze this protocol. All right. That is step one. And then step two is you should familiarize yourself with the Dune UI. So if you go to Dune, uh, it should lead you to this landing dashboard page. And here you are. So by default, it's going to lead you to the discover page. And then, so here you can like click onto any of the dashboards available, and then you can click into the query available, and then you can either even click on the fork button, and then you can change the query for yourself. And here you can see once you get the data ready, you can create a new visualization by clicking new visualization, and then you can choose a variety of options here. And of course, if you want to create your own query, you can go to the upper right hand side, click new query. And then here you're able to just start typing, select star. And then of course, if you want to explore what kind of data set we have, you can just click on any of these table and see what are the columns containing this. Yeah. And of course, any of the creations that you make yourself, you can find them in the my creations tab and then under the queries or the dashboards. Yeah. And then if you want to know more about our app in general, you can go to dune.com slash docs. And then here there's a getting started page and you can go through all the features that we offer you. So yeah, just play with that, read docs and get familiar with the Dune UI. And then lastly, we are asking you to go through this video on automated market makers. So here we use Uniswap as a case study for AMM. So after you watch this video, you will have an idea about what is AMM, what is Uniswap and what kind of analysis you can conduct. And then for the cherry on the top, you can even go to Uniswap's own doc and read up on how exactly Uniswap works. So those are the three steps we're asking you to do as prereq. And yeah, we are very excited to see you on December 12th for our 12 days of Dune. So come join us. See you then. Bye.